I'm good. It doesn't just pop right off. I need a dead blow, hard, hard hammer, or, and a flat blade screwdriver. And you hit these little tabs, which is the only reason why I think they're molded on there, so you have somewhere to hit. And look, there's another one there, and there's a third one somewhere else. Anyways, that's the inside of this case. Open to it, other than I'm going to push the uh, cramp washers, whatever you call them. One stick there. So you got your low gear and your high gear. Whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, it just comes apart. My gasket came right off in one piece, so I don't recommend reusing it. So you can buy that gasket material and just trace it and cut one out. Because these are actually space, you need, I'm pretty sure you need to reuse a gasket, not gasket maker. Uh, I don't know if it would make a huge difference, but. Uh, you can actually shim this out. I don't know where the shims are. I gotta ask where the shims go. Uh, I don't know if mine needs shimming or not. Anyways, here is. There's one of the shafts there. Two bearings on it. Uh, putting the bearings on was a whole lot easier than popping them off, but I expected. And um, you get your speedo gear. So, kind of keep you from getting confused. We are actually we're upside down. The gears, obviously, the casing don't weigh nothing. So if your transfer case ever explodes on you, it's because the casing gave out. <laughs> so now. Input shaft I took out, as you can see. And we'll take this back off. Front input shaft and the shift it over. Okay, so there we go. And here's the four-wheel drive selector, which selects the front drive, it'll move outward. And you have your high and low gear selector right here, which this one moves real easy. Pop, 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 pop. And uh, this one is actually spring-loaded. There's a spring. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Anyway, spring loaded. Because the manual says it And there is a stop clip spring right there for the input shaft. And when you buy these gears, the only thing you get new, you reuse, it came with a new shaft. I don't know if you can reuse the stock one or not. I have to, it's, it's like a different teeth count or whatever. Uh, here's the. Uh, how many one as you can see. Now this will actually come out. So like I said, you get the speedo gear, the washer, your low gear. Um kinda getting upside down here. Uh see the teeth? The, they look like uh, the Cinco rings on the transmission. Uh there that's part of the gear there, then that's just the that the middle the middle teeth right there, that's part of the shaft, the main shaft there. As you can see, the selector just, while you're selecting it, just kind of slides right up there. Then there's the high gear. And let me kind of, there's two bearings, two ball bearings on the main shaft. There's two roller bearings on the middle shaft. Now when you pull this out, just, there you go. And that's it right there. Now, as you can tell, this is where the front shaft went in, and you see how it looks like the uh, 
transmission front shaft with the little tip right there. Well, it goes right there, and there's a needle bearing in there. I have no clue on how to remove it, so it's going to get reused, plus needle bearings pretty much don't wear out. Uh, there's another C-clip right there holding that on, and as you saw, the uh, front selector sat on that. And you got big bearing with a C clip to hold it from going past that. You can see where it sits down on. And then you got a washer. And as I said, that's part of the high gear assembly and low gear. And another washer. Like that. And then you got a stock, a wedding ring. All right, so let's put that bad boy down. And let's move on to the okay, slider, just pulls right out. And there's what the Denton Ball selector rides on these three bad boys right there. And you hear it every time, that's what that noise is when you're selecting the gears. And that selector just falls right up. There's nothing there. And see, it's got a spring. In there, I didn't. I didn't take it apart. I just left that alone. I wasn't gonna part with it. And we got the metal gears. You just pull right off. And let's see what we got. How many rocks? Six or five. And that's all it is. One, one two, like that. And you set that to the side. And you got. Ooh, you got a needle bearing, spacer. Can't forget your spacer, another needle bearing, and another, uh, I forget what they're called, thrush washers, crimp washers, whatever they are. And that is pretty much it to this thing. As you can tell, like I said, there's no weight to this. And you can't really see down there. That's another shifter. And the middle shaft comes out. Usually, gear kits will come with a new one. Uh, the one I took out looked fine. Since the needle bearings. And as I said, there's only only four bearings you have to pull off on the small shaft here. Of course, as always, it's always best to pull a bearing from the inner race. Uh, as you can tell, you're not able to do that. Um, I'm not sure if, if you have a press, you can slide those two pieces of metal there and squeeze it out and then, you know, push right there and it'll come out with two plates right there. Uh, if you can get it to do that. If not, I just used the three teeth puller and pulled as close as I could on the inside. Uh, it didn't affect the uh, bearings. I mean, they're still as tight as how they were. And uh, let's see, the uh, this one I had to use. Now this one you can use whatever size bearing puller since it's free. There's nothing in the way. Now here you have a tight spot. I had to use a. I believe it was the, it was the smallest one in the kit is 